Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a leak down test on a chainsaw short block. What I have here is a chainsaw short block from a Steel 038 AV. Now here's the setup that I have for this leak down test. I've kept the spark plug in and I've used a thick piece of rubber like this, put it in between the two muffler studs here, then I tighten it back on. On these saws there's a connector for the impulse line. What I've done is connected a fuel line and plugged it up with a screw. And what I've done here is I've used an old bellows that I had from a Husky chainsaw, put it on the cylinder over here. As you can see, it's nice and tight. And then I've used the steel adapter that I have with a hose connector here, and it's secured nicely on this bellows over here. So basically what you want is no leaks anywhere on the saw when you perform this test. That's why you want to make sure that all the holes are plugged nice and tight. The reason I took it all apart like this is because I want to check the crank seals, I do know that the bellows from the saw is in good condition. That's why I did not perform it with the original bellows on the cylinder. Here's the back end of the saw and you can see the bellows and the impulse line here. If I was to perform this test with the saw not disassembled, I would just simply put my adapter over here on the connector. However, this way today I can show you guys exactly where it's leaking. And for this I'm using a Mighty Vac pump. It's this model over here and it does pump and it also has the vacuum action. And a good thing to have when you do a leak down test is a spray bottle with some dish soap and water in it. Now to do a leak down test you want to set your pump to the pressure which means it will push air into the crankcase. And usually to do this test I pump it up between 5 and 10 psi. And if your saw has no leaks it should stay between 5 and 10 wherever you stop it for a little while before it leaks down. However if you have a massive air leak somewhere you will not even be able to get a reading on the pressure gauge. Now what I'm going to do is start pumping up the pressure pump. Now this doesn't look good because I am pumping it like crazy and the needle isn't even moving up. So I've got a massive air leak somewhere. Now this is where your spray bottle with soap in it will come in handy. Now I'm going to flip the saw over to check the crank seal on the flywheel side. Now what I'm going to do is pump up the pressure pump and spray the soap water solution right on the seal. If I see any bubbles there, then I know it is leaking. And I don't see any bubbles there. And here's a close-up shot, and I'll do it again. And that looks good. Now I'm going to flip that over to the other side where the clutch is. And I suspect there's a problem on this side. Again, I'm going to pump up my pressure pump and spray my soap and water solution. And you can see it's bubbling. That's actually a major leak because the needle cannot get any pressure on the pump. Also because the oil seal here was leaking, you can see that it's become black everywhere. This is not normal for all the parts here to be black like that. It looks like two cycle engine oil has gotten all over inside the chainsaw. Also when you do a leak down test, you can spray the water soap solution at the base of the cylinder. There is a gasket here and sometimes they do leak. I didn't see any bubbles come out where the base gasket is, but that could be because the seal on the side of the clutch is leaking excessively. Also, when you do a leak down test, you want to set your pump to vacuum, just like this one here. And you want to perform the leak down test in the vacuum mode as well, because you want to make sure that the integrity of the oil seals are good. Sometimes they may hold the pressure, but they will not hold the vacuum. And again, if I perform this in the vacuum mode, there is no buildup of any pressure whatsoever. So this oil seal here is bad with pressure and it's bad as well with vacuum. So that's about it for today's test. I'm going to retest this saw when I have replaced the oil seal just to show you guys how it should be and also to find out if it has any leaks anywhere else. Also a few tips when you do your leak down test you want to spray the water soap solution on the exhaust port here where you put the rubber liner just in case it's leaking. Sometimes you may need to retighten the muffler bolts holding the rubber liner because you could be losing pressure there and it could be deceiving to your test. Also you want to spray down the bellows and where it connects to make sure you're not losing pressure there and also around the spark plug. And as I mentioned earlier, at the base of the cylinder between the crankcase. Also on this chainsaw, because the crankcase is part of the engine block, you would want to spray the water soap solution where the two parts meet together. There is a gasket here, and sometimes you can get a leak there and your chainsaw will not run properly. So if you were doing the pressure test and you sprayed it and you saw bubbles in the seam here, then you know you have a leak and that you have to split the crankcase, reseal it and then test it again. Okay guys, I've just replaced the oil seal and I'm gonna do a pressure test again on it. 
and here's the new seal by the way it's part number 9640001880 and the old seal had fallen apart actually there's a small hole that I used to remove the seal now I'm going to set my pump to pressure I'm going to pump it up to approximately 7 psi and as you can see the needles going up there I'll stop at 7 and you can see it's holding the pressure very well and now if I spray it you can see there's no bubbles coming out so this saw should run good again and I'm also going to do the flywheel side again as well and I do not see any bubbles here and I'm also going to do at the bottom of the cylinder and look inside here to see if you see any bubbles you especially want to look inside here as well and I don't see anything now I'm going to depressurize my pump I'm going to switch it to vacuum and I pumped it to approximately 7 to 8 psi and there's no leakage I know for sure now that the crank seal on the clutch side was the only problem and remember you don't want to put too much pressure in your pump when you do this I usually do it between 5 and 10 psi at the most so thanks for watching guys if you do have tips that can help anybody out there doing this test please post your comments under today's video Make sure to subscribe and you can see me next time. Have a great day.